Then a month's time of me doing that, the channel got monetized and here we are today. But you know, doing YouTube as a channel and actually taking it seriously, you can, you know, start to bring in some extra money that can be something that you can use to try to pay down debt or to try to build other businesses. Or you can even start making a living off of just your channel where you can leave your job that you probably don't like anyway. What's up everybody? Today we are going to be talking about how to start your first YouTube channel and actually start making money on that channel. Now, if you have been following my channel recently, then you know that I started putting out more information about building a business or, you know, trying to get a side gig so that you can bring in some extra money. And why is that important, you know, especially in connection with me usually talking about credit information? Well, basically, when you're trying to sustain your credit or get your credit to a good place, then you're going to need income for that. And if money is tight right now, having extra ways to bring in money can definitely be something that can benefit your credit and ultimately, you know, you saving money, building up wealth and all of those things. And some of you guys, you just expressed recently that you wanted some information on being able to start a business and run a business, whether that be from a side gig or, you know, a full time business situation so i wanted to make sure that i started off with something that i definitely know about because you're here watching my channel and if you've been here from the growth you've seen me go from uh, almost no followers at all all the way to about 30,000 at this point i believe that i have and once i finally started taking my channel a little more seriously about a year ago i actually got monetized about a year ago and before that point i actually had my channel for i think about maybe two or three years before last year when I actually got started and started to take it seriously and when I say last year is January now it was really 2020 the end of 2020 when I started to take the channel really seriously and started to put some more content on here and then I believe within a month's time of me doing that the channel got monetized and here we are today but you know doing YouTube as a channel and actually taking it seriously you can you know start to bring in some extra money that can be something that you can use to try to pay pay down debt or to try to build other businesses or you can even start making a living off of just your channel where you can leave your job that you probably don't like anyway and start making money just by recording videos at home which I'm sure is a lot of you guys dream but no matter what the situation anybody can use extra money to bring into their home and this is a low cost easy entry way to try to start building up money or having a second business or side gig so I thought that a YouTube channel would be the perfect thing to discuss with you guys on the channel today now that doesn't mean that you're gonna automatically instantly start making money while you're on YouTube it's gonna take a little bit of time a little bit of effort a little bit of practice on what you're doing to actually get to the point where you're making money off of your channel so as long as you have the patience and the time to put into it then you following the six things that I'm gonna outline for you today is definitely gonna help you in your journey to go ahead and get monetized on YouTube or start making money off your YouTube channel and hopefully these steps that I'm gonna share with you are going to be the things that kind of cut down your learning curve and help you be a little bit more focused on the right things and taking the right actions so that you don't end up wasting too much time while you're trying to figure things out and get your YouTube business growing now the first thing I wanted to talk about with you guys is making sure that you identify your niche and your niche niche is basically like a very very specific targeted market of people that you can help with a product or service that you offer or something that you're knowledgeable about so what is it that you're really good at is what you want to be thinking about here when you're not at work if work doesn't relate to something that you're really good at when you're you know in your downtime when you're doing something that you want to do or something that you're passionate about and you know it can be cooking it can be working out it can be helping people with their finances it can be a plethora of different things but you need to know what it is that you're passionate about and it's very important important too because you don't want to just be doing YouTube just because you want to make money on YouTube you should know that you have something that is a focus of yours that is a passion of yours something that you really care about a problem out there that you want to be able to solve because you being passionate about it is what's going to continue to drive you to go through the times while you're making this channel that you may not have that many subscribers that you may not have that many people commenting that you may not be seeing a whole bunch of action in the beginning you'll know that you still have a cause that you're doing 
is for and a certain thing that you care about to continue to talk about because it is going to take some time and it is going to take a lot of effort and if you don't really care about what you're talking about then you're more than likely going to get burned out and you're probably going to give up before you even get to monetization now once you know what it is that you actually care about something that you've seen results in before something that you know that you're really really good at that you can show people or teach people about and then you need to know who it is that you're trying to help by knowing who it is that you're trying to help you can better identify who your customer base is and by understanding who your customer base is you'll know what it is that they are looking for what it is that they want to see what it is that they want to know and you'll know how you need to put your information out on the channel in a way that will appeal to them and attract them to you and if you didn't already see it a few videos ago i actually did a video on how to attract customers so that is something that you might want to watch in addition to learning about this portion that i'm talking about when you're trying to attract people but you want to definitely know who it is that you're trying to help so that you can know what it is that they need and you can know how to best reach them. Now all of that is going to be used in the creation of your videos and in some of the detailed things that you have to do in regards, in regards to setting your video up before you actually upload it and put it out there to the public for them to see it. So that's why it's very important to do all of this homework ahead of time. And now that you know, you know what it is that you're passionate about and what you want to talk about and who it is that you want to talk to, who it is that you want to help, you're going to need to come up with your, your name for your channel now. So when you're coming up with the name for your channel, you definitely want to make sure that you are looking by doing a search on YouTube, doing a search on Google and on social media. Just, you know, try to see if anybody has that name because, you know, you might want to register this name as your business name. So that's why you're going to go to Google and look it up and look on other social media platforms to look up that name. But especially on YouTube, you want to see if anybody else has that same channel or if you search for that channel, what type of information pops up or what type of channels pop up in relation to that name that you have come up with for your channel now after you come up with all of this information one thing that's going to be a very important result of that is it's going to help you to better be able to tailor your channel and your videos towards the people that want to see them because when YouTube is deciding to show your videos to people it's trying to take a look at the information that's going on with your video and with your channel and trying to show your videos to people that it thinks might like you know this type of content so it's going to be very beneficial to you to make sure that you are doing the best job that you can to show YouTube hey this is what I'm talking about so it can more easily align your videos and your content with the people that actually need the information the people that's actually looking for it and the people that want to see it and by connecting you to the right people that is going to get you much better results as far as your engagement uh, your comments you know people liking your videos which is going to in turn help your channel to grow by you putting out good content and it being connected to the people that need it now I know that might have been a lot under the first step but all of those things are very important under that category now the second thing that I want to talk to you guys about is making sure that you are doing your research before you put those videos out there now this is taking the previous step a little more detail but it's gonna be in more detail for your specific videos that you're going to be putting out so for example the first thing that you might want to do is you want to think of a topic that you might want to talk about like let's say you're a person that trains dogs you might think that a person is out there searching for you know how to make my dog sit so you might want to create a video you know title that says how to make your dog learn to sit so you would want to type that into the search bar and then you know go take a look and see what other content there is out there that is you know similar to that you want to see what pops up first you want to take a look at the thumbnails that people are using you want to take a look at the titles that people are using you want to go and look and see what type of comments people are leaving under these videos and of course you want to see what videos are the most popular videos that are out there and you know kind of get a gauge or an idea of what it is that people like what it is that people don't like about these videos that you're seeing and you know what could possibly be improved upon in these videos or things that you really like or things that you really resonated that you thought were good and again you're not doing this because you want to clone or just directly copy anything that anybody is doing but you want to get an idea of what works and what's good content and then you want to take that back to your videos when you're creating them and turn it into your own and really shine and show how you are different from the other people that are already making the videos out there and show that you still have knowledge and that you can put out good time to get put out good content around the same topic now the third thing that we're going to talk about is you need to get started recording 
Now, the one thing that I don't want you to do, which is what most people do, is get caught in the beginning phases or get stuck in the beginning phases, you know, the analysis paralysis, you trying to do too much research and you're doing too much thinking and second guessing of yourself. So you're getting to the point where you haven't even started the video and you've done about a month worth of research. It shouldn't take you that long to just look up some things and figure out what it is that you want to do. It should take you an hour or two at most to do research. And even, you know, sometimes coming up with your purpose of the channel and all that, that may take you a day because you might really want to think about what it is you want to focus your channel on but ultimately i would say you can come up with these first two things within the day and then know what direction you want to take your channel in but don't get stuck with analysis paralysis you need to go ahead and just start recording once you have those first two steps figured out now the next thing that you don't want to do in this area is you don't want to feel as though you need to go out and get all of this fancy equipment like most other people have to go ahead and get started now by all means if you have the money to go ahead and get the kind of camera you want to get the lighting you want to get the audio you want to get the camera stands if you want to get the whole four thousand dollar setup by all means go ahead and do it but i would say start lean you can start by picking up your phone and just start recording from your phone these youtube videos whether you have an iphone or an android you can just pick it up start recording and then start putting some content together and putting some things out there now why is this important why the why shouldn't you go out there and get all of this fancy equipment well because the first beginning videos that you make probably aren't going to be that good unless you are already trained professional behind the camera or you know you're already that enthusiastic person with a lot of energy and a lot of personality and you you know you know that you're really good at what you do or being behind the camera and recording things so you know in that instance you still might not have the most perfect videos because there are other things that go into videos than just having a personality but at the beginning you might not make the best videos content wise not about what you're talking about because more than likely you know your profession but just in the way and the structure and maybe even the energy that you put it out there or the confidence that you have putting it out there you might be better served by getting your practice in on the low end without investing all of that money at first and then once you finally get you know your whole flow down while you're on camera then investing some money into those things but i will definitely tell you that when it is time for you to start upgrading when you start feeling the need like okay i want to do something or i want to get something the first thing that i will tell you to do is to upgrade your audio whether it be a lapel mic whether it be a shotgun mic if you're doing videos like this or whether it be just some type of audio equipment to help better the sound of your videos because the problem that most people are going to have with a video they can usually take it if you don't have the best video quality but if you don't sound good like if the audio sounds horrible then there are going to be some people that may not listen to your video or they might tune out of your video really quickly because they can't hear the audio clearly or there's some type of you know problem with the audio being low so that might be the first thing that you want to upgrade because the microphones on most phones may not be the best even when you finally upgrade your camera the microphone on most cameras isn't going to be the best either so having an extra microphone that's a little bit of better quality will definitely upgrade your videos now the next thing after that that you might want to focus on if you want to get some equipment is going to be lighting because lighting can be very key to making sure that you look good in front of the camera and even if you're recording on your phone just having better lighting can definitely upgrade the quality of your videos and then after that once you have it in your budget because the cameras can more than likely be the most expensive thing i will go and upgrade my camera after that and i won't cover all of the other things that you can actually implement because right now i'm just trying to give you the keys that you need to get things started now other than that when it comes to recording a few things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you come up with a content calendar as far as when you want to post content are you going to post once a week three times a week uh two times a day but just know when you're in the beginning phases it can be a little bit overwhelming to come up with that much content edit it schedule it put it out there and all of that so i would say at least get started with one video a week and that should be something that you can do consistently on the same day because you do get rewarded for consistency so make sure that you come up with the time schedule that you want to get started with and i recommend starting with doing it at least once a day and i would also say that you can take one day and record 
four videos for the month. So instead of you trying to wait every week and record the videos, you can do a batch recording and get everything knocked out in one day and then schedule out your content and then you're good for the month. And doing that makes getting started a lot easier. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna be at step number four. And in this step, you wanna check your analytics. Now at this point, you know, you've gotten started with everything, you've been putting content out there, you're starting to get some, you know, comments, some likes here, and you're starting to really get a feel for how people like your content, you're starting to get some more confidence, and you're starting to really feel like you know what you're doing. So now it's time to look at everything that you've done and actually dive into your analytics to kind of see what it is that has actually performed well and what type of content your audience really likes. Now it's very important to know that YouTube's goal is to keep people on their platform as long as possible. So the more videos you can keep people watching, the more YouTube is gonna reward you because you're doing or you're helping them with what they're trying to achieve, which is keeping people on YouTube longer. So one thing that you might wanna look at is to see what videos do you have that have the best view duration, meaning the amount of time that you keep people on a particular video. The videos that have a better view duration are more than likely gonna be videos that people really liked watching. So again, that can be a key to let you know that you should make more content like this. Look at your videos and see what parts of your videos have dips where people actually dropped out of your video or highs where people kept rewinding the video. And with that, you can get an idea of what parts of your video people really like the most. And you can possibly come up with some more things that you might wanna talk about. Or when you see those big dips in your videos, that lets you know that people kinda got bored with it and they just started leaving the video. And that's a good indication of something that you wanna leave out of your videos. You know, pay attention to what type of videos are getting a lot of subscribers because people have to really like a video or they have to maybe consume a few of your videos and they get to a video that really resonates with them and then a lot of people might subscribe to that particular video. That lets you know that there's something really good or unique about that video that you wanna pay attention to. Now, the fifth thing that I'm gonna tell you to do is to experiment. Now with this, you wanna look at the trends and everything in the analytics that you saw and you wanna start to make those changes in your new videos that you start to create so that you can start to see how those changes that you have implemented have affected your videos and see if they're keeping people longer, see if you get more people to subscribe, more people to comment, and you wanna take note of those things so that you can know what you need to do more of going down in the future. And you also wanna to continue to be working on your presence, working on your timing of when you have certain calls to action where you might ask a person to go you know, sign up for your email list or ask a person to go download your freebie or ask a person to go take a course that you put together. All of those things you wanna start paying attention to and trying to make little changes and adjustments here and there to see what works best for your audience and what gets you the best result. And now, after you've done all of that tweaking and analyzing and all of that stuff, you more than likely are gonna be at the fun part, which is step number six, which is making money. Now, while you're on YouTube, most people already know about YouTube monetization, where you have to get at least a thousand subscribers and I think 4,000 watch hours in order to actually monetize your channel. By following all the steps that I outlined, that should definitely lead you in the direction of being able to achieve that. But that isn't the only way that you can make money on YouTube. Once you reach monetization, which is basically you getting paid through YouTube AdSense, which is going to be based off of ads that are shown on your videos. So the more people are watching your videos, the more ads they see. Advertisers that are on YouTube are paying money to YouTube to get their ads out there and YouTube is basically giving you a piece of the money from the advertiser that they are receiving. So the more people are watching your videos, the more money that you can possibly make off of those ads. Now, you also have the ability to make money by offering your own products. So if you have a information product where you're actually selling a course or you have you know, a few templates or downloads, if you have like worksheets or workbooks that you create that you wanna sell, all of those are things that you can sell on your channel through your videos. And with YouTube being the second biggest search engine out there, that means that you're probably likely to get a lot of people if you're targeting your videos right to the right people that are looking for those things that you're selling. So even if your channel isn't monetized, you can still make money off of those digital products and information products that you may offer. In addition to that, you can also do affiliate marketing. So if you don't have your own product, there are companies out there that do have products that they need to get in front of people and they're willing to pay you a commission 
permission to get their product in front of people. So if you do a good job of drawing attention of people and getting an audience around you, there are affiliate products that you can sign up for and likely make a commission off of offering their product without you even having to create a product. And another way of making money off of YouTube is going to be sponsorships. As you create videos and start to get traffic and get a lot of people that like your videos, you might have certain businesses reaching out to you trying to advertise their product on your channel. And when you connect with them to do that, more than likely you can make some money from that sponsor by mentioning them in a video or creating an entire video about that particular company. So as you can see, there are several different ways that you can actually make money off of YouTube, whether you're getting paid directly from YouTube or not. Now, that is a lot of information that I just shared. Just to run over everything really quickly so that you remember what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is try to establish what your niche is, what it is that you're good at and who you wanna help. Next, you wanna make sure you do your research and make sure you check out some other videos similar to what you wanna put out there to get an idea of what you wanna put out there. Third, you wanna just get started recording because you don't want to get caught in analysis paralysis you want to start putting content out there so that you can get the practice in so that you can quickly start to master this video thing number four you want to check your analytics once you have them to try to see what you need to tweak and that leads you to the fifth step which means you need to experiment and change the things as you see based off your analytics and the trends with your videos and then start making money there are several different ways to make money but find your way that you want to make money on YouTube now I'm thankful for you guys sticking around Around all the way to the end of the video make sure you like and subscribe to this video if you got value from it and share it with some people that you know may need this information and I'll see you guys next time and I'm also gonna send you to that video I talked about where I was helping you to figure out how to attract more customers for whatever business you may have so check that out and again I'll see you guys next time